Moving on from that, I want to touch upon these. Sakoni so Original relaunches the Ultra Retro Pro Grid Triumph 4. One of the worst names possible um, ever you could put for a sneaker. I think the opening image itself with these horrendous combat pant things with is that a smiley face button no it isn't my bad it's just my eyes are eyesight is absolutely terrible for other smiley face button but regardless it's got these awful flipping pants that look like you can roll them up and clip them underneath which is obviously horrible but the shoe itself i think is pretty interesting and cool and it got me thinking overall why don't more people try and make uncool sneakers like sakoni way more cooler than going out there and buying the same thing everyone else is wearing everyone at the moment is wearing those solomon boots or solomon trainers the ones that people wear to do like hiking and cross country training and whatnot but i think i think it's far more valuable it's far more interesting and it's way more fun to pull a shoe that no one's really looking at or caring for and try to bring that into some sort of relevancy and get that to be the hype new thing and especially in my opinion especially someone who kind of cares a lot about not wearing stuff everyone else is wearing it just kind of mixes up mixes things up a bit because these aren't asics these aren't diodoras or mizunos or even new balances right these are sakornis you don't see anybody nowadays wearing sakornis and wearing them proud and i feel like this model is really cool i like the colorways I like the shape. I like the little details of the mesh. I like the little hits of the blue here and there. And of course, the colors are super classic. I guess maybe they're probably an OG colorway that they brought back in terms of the free colorway kind of rule that I say is usually king in terms of the base, the accents, and some of the linings. I think that's pretty much cool. If I can see that previous picture, it looks like the tongue is mesh also all over it. So it's a really cool design, very breathable, looks very light, looks very comfortable. And clearly, I feel like it's in line with all the shoes that are out there that are being popular but like i said it's not the in thing to wear at the moment so corny isn't the it brand it's kind of languishing behind asics it's probably languishing behind mizuno and it's definitely languishing behind new balance but in my opinion i think these look far more interesting so i wonder why these kids nowadays don't try and pluck these uncool quote-unquote shoes and try and make them cool why just wear the same thing everyone else is wearing why look at what asap now is wearing just want to buy the exact same thing if you count yourself to be a bit of a tastemaker or be a bit of an influencer why not do a bit of digging rummaging and taking of a risk and trying to make this work and trying to freak this with an outfit why not it really really puzzles me with that regard but anyway so corny um originals let's read the article courtesy of hypebeast this season so corny originals offers up an eclectic range of sneaker styles from luxe classics to futuristic steppers oh awful word to use in the article futuristic steppers amongst the autumn 2022 collection the brand adds a naughty favorite the pro grid triumph 4 returning with its new technical components and updated colorways providing the same maximalist sporty look as its 2007 predecessor the pro grid triumph 4 models a chunky silhouette with a striking all over mesh on top of the thick webbing and durable leather overlays with a chrome finish that are kept intact adding to the retro feel of the sneaker yeah definitely does have a retro feel to it and now again like i said this is up there with whatever kiko collaboration people are creaming themselves over and i feel like it looks a lot more interesting a lot more original than those sort of things and definitely doesn't make you look like a sheep because everyone else is wearing the same thing you're wearing um delivering the functionality as well as a style the new iteration of the cushioned um the, the new iteration is cushioned with progress technology that supports wearers in every terrain another technical another technical addition includes a lightweight arch lock material sewn across the media panel for the release of corny produces an impactful creative campaign that draws in the sneakers new age return with a glimpse of the retro performance this feels like it's been paid for yeah i knew it without even reading it i should have checked it out this is presented by the corny i was like this phase this feels like a paid for job and then you look at here this is presented by sakoni without any sort of confusion the sakoni originals pro good triumph 4 is available to buy now in the us and uk and italy in sakoni stores a select retail stores so as i mentioned prior why don't kids take more risk i don't know maybe it's a whole diff it's a whole different view of kind of buying sneakers and what cool means because for me, when I was coming up, it was a far smaller scene. The influences still exist. The people that who got seeded stuff or the people that were looked at to be the tastemakers or the one that quote unquote set the trends. But for me and the way that I was kind of introduced to sneakers, it was always about 
buying stuff that no one had. That didn't mean they had to be limited edition. It didn't mean they had to come in a wooden box or you had to, you know, find them in some flipping mum and pop store. It could be anything that you actually just genuinely liked that you pulled um, or that you ended up picking up or stumbled across in terms of randomly shopping in different places. It was never about being limited edition. Then I think over time, once Nike recognized how fervent and how cash rich and, you know, how eager that fan base was to buy stuff, they decided to make stuff specifically for sneakerheads, which I think is what, you know, led i guess to the overall demise of sneakerhead culture overall because the limited edition shoes by them for the most part aren't that great and the way that they distribute them or sell them isn't the greatest you think of the sneakers app you think of the hey, that's confirmed app you think of the lack of cues in general you think of the backdooring it's all a bit of a shit show so if anything even with the global sneaker industry being a billion dollar market I feel like there should be more scope and there's more opportunity to sort of grab interesting GR type shoes and make those things cool or make or kind of in you know uh pull those into your style and what you're going to wear as opposed to kind of wearing the same old AJ ones that everyone's wearing, the same Solomon boots, the same architect Arterix gear, the same New Balances, the same Nike Air Maxes, the same Jordans, the same SBs. It just gets boring after a while. The same hey, that's the Sambas now that everyone's wearing. It's just boring for me. But, you know, maybe I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to this sort of stuff. 